someone's got to say it. Someone's got to say it. And I feel like I am always the one that says it. And it, I just, I feel like I'm a complaining Andy, right? I feel like what I do on this channel is half my videos, it, I make, you know, guides talking about how to be better at Rise of Kingdoms. And then the other half of the time, I'm just, just tearing the game down and complaining about it like an idiot, okay? And if anybody has watched my channel who's new to the channel, they would probably assume, you know, if they click on the wrong video that I hate Rise of Kingdoms, which, you know, honestly, let's be real. I love this game, but someone's got to say it. I'm I'm upset at Lilith that I have to keep making videos like this, but guys, March of the Ages. I've played it long enough. I know I know my opinion on March of the Ages, and it's pretty much the same opinion that every single person who has played this KVK has had. I'm going through Lost Kingdom chat, I'm going through Alliance chat, I'm going through YouTube comments. March of the Ages is dog sh it's dog shit, okay? I'm gonna be just, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys, okay? We're gonna keep it real here. This is be by far the worst KVK iteration that I've seen. And it's, and it's unfortunate because it's not even bad for the same reasons that other KVKs were bad, right? Like Seasons of Con Season of Conquest came out and KVK tech is was so powerful and free to play, had no way of maxing it out. And you know, it, it was expensive and you had to max it every time and everybody hates KVK tech, right? I don't think there's many people who like KVK tech. I, I couldn't, I could count them on one hand probably if I go through my YouTube comments. And hating KVK tech makes sense because you know, free to play players just can't participate in that as much as they'd like to, right? Um, but March of the Ages is bad because it's just a poor design that's that's the downside and you know i've mentioned in previous videos where uh, you know i've said you know if you want Lilith to listen to you you have to be um sort of a, objective and direct and you have to provide like real feedback right so me sitting here and saying that it's dog shit is very uh, hypocritical of me okay um but i don't have anything nice to say about march of the ages like i'm i'm sitting here and and i'm i before i clicked record on this video i was just sitting here thinking about um can i do a pros and cons can i talk a, a little bit about something that is objectively good about this game mode and i i just can't okay so in the in the in the uh, spirit of being objective and giving uh my honest feedback if i if i'm giving my honest feedback to lilith without cursing being professional my professional opinion about march of the ages is uh, the way that you make it better is you just, you just take it and you just, you just throw, just throw it out. Just, just leave, just delete, just stop it. Just, we, I, like, we just, we just don't do it ever again. And we just start over. Just do something else. Uh, don't even bother fixing it. It's, it's a waste of resources. Um, it's a waste of servers. It's just going to cost you money. Um, moving forward, my kingdom doesn't seem to have any plans of playing this KVK again. We are like doing well in this KVK, uh, and we're bored and we're sick of it and we can't wait for it to be over. Um, it's just, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to see this map anymore. I'm over it. Um, and, and, and what inspired me to record this, right? Is that we are fighting on this front here you can see where i have this radius set up previously we fought here and during this you know during this fight here uh the one of the other kingdoms started to push us from these passes that we locked them behind uh, a while ago and you know i don't blame them for doing that i mean they don't really have any, anything else to do so might as well fight right which is totally reasonable i think that's a reasonable thing to do so they pushed us here and you know it's it's just an annoyance because you know if we teleport over here there's no question that we would crush them instantly um but we have to march for 50 minutes we have to march i mean seriously let me let me just click and we're just gonna see how long it's going to take if i send a, a reasonable march to to fight on this area 38 minutes okay i was exaggerating a little bit if i'm if i move my guan yu from where my guan yu is right now it's 44 minutes so it wasn't really an exaggeration it's just from this specific forward camp to the fighting zone is is 45 minutes of marching uh and teleporting 
takes even longer because you have to march to build your foundation stone then you take two hours and you can only teleport like once a day so you can't teleport so in a world where marching 45 minutes is the answer um i'm not gonna just i'm just not gonna do it like in what world is it fun to wait this entire kvk format is based around waiting you have to march to build something then you have to march there to, to station a troop and oh guess what if you run out of marching orders well come back in six hours and see if maybe you can fight then uh and by that point you're gonna have to build another forward camp somewhere else because fighting without the 100 percent damage buff is pointless like you can't you just can't do it so uh, you're forced to constantly be building these forward camps over and over and over again and they take time to build and you have to upgrade them if you want to use more than one single army so it's just a constant waiting game it's weeks and weeks of waiting with with literal minutes of fighting and again we're we're doing well in this kvk at this moment right and of course anything can change but with the with the way that the, this kvk moves so slowly um you know i i just i i don't see how uh, this KVK game mode can be saved, like from an objective standpoint. Um, the the changes that they would have to make to make this KVK fun are so so um, large that it would be easier to just just come up with a new idea, just scrap it. You know, I I don't think that it's it's just I don't think it's worth saving. I don't think it's worth it and I don't think they can do it. That's really what it comes down to. They don't have, I don't think they have the ability and they, I mean the developers or the design team, whoever designs these KVKs, um, there's nothing that I think they could do that would make me willing to try this KVK mode again, right? Um, because not only does it have all of its own flaws, it also has KVK tech. So it's not like you're getting away from the thing that you didn't like in the other season of Conquest. Like, no, you still have KVK tech. So there's just no there like it it's a farmer kvk like the only reason you would sign up for march of the ages is if you just want to sit around in your starting zone and farm big nodes that's it and that's a waste of servers that's a waste of people's time uh it, it it's just a horrible game mode it really is um and so i i just i can't believe it right i can't believe it and the reason let me be a little bit more specific because I feel like, again, I'm just complaining. Okay. The reason it's horrible is because with all of the building and marching and limitations on the player, um, you are waiting so much that it's not fun. And when you're, when you are talking about a video game, uh, you're, you're like, how are you? Why would I play a not fun game? Like that just, you're not going to do it. I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to spend money on it. I'm not interested in it. I'll do something else, right? There's a million other games out there that can capture your attention that are also free to play. So in what world would I pick a KVK <laughs> that's core mechanics are to make you wait longer to fight? I mean, you know, you look at some of the uh, players in my kingdom who spend thousands of dollars on this game and they have barely any dead troops in this KVK because you just can't fight right you have one big battle and the enemy gets pushed back and it takes so long and so much coordination just to do anything at all that you just you just don't do it you just don't do it and not only that but you can't coordinate everybody to do it anyway because it's too complicated you got to send to build a stone to teleport to build a forward camp to upgrade that camp and great news 12 hours has passed and now you're not even fighting that anymore because you've pushed you know 50 flags down the down the map so like it's it's a kvk built around waiting which is in itself a kvk built around not having fun and so you know when you think about um uh, when when they build a kvk when they build a new format you typically would assume that somebody is is uh benefiting from this meaning like the, they've designed the kvk in a way to either increase sales of bundles or to you know encourage players to fight more which means they have to you know train more which means they ha may have to spend some money right in this kvk you have none of that you barely have any fighting you're barely having any fun you're barely using your commanders because you can only use one at a time until you upgrade your forward camps uh there's really nothing no one's no one's benefiting from this lilith is probably not making any money off of these kvks right now because no one's fighting no one's doing anything it's so slow and it's so boring um and and again i don't know how to fix it and i love to you know 
approach these things from an objective standpoint and say like okay well you know maybe if we change this or we give players that or you know you tweak this um but the answer is actually i think and you can comment down below if you have a way of of fixing this kvk if you've played it um my thing is just delete it just don't like i good try right i appreciate them thinking outside the box wanting to do something new trying to keep the game exciting and keep players engaged and learn about a new format and all that stuff i get that right i get that the developers have to try to keep the game fresh to keep people playing but unfortunately this was a miss and it happens you know you're not gonna you're not gonna win every time even if you're a great developer you know this just the way that it turned out is that this format sucks it objectively sucks and um i think it's better for the game if players just don't even have the choice of picking this um because people are going to pick it you know if this is your first season of conquest and you pick this you're gonna think oh my god season of conquest kvks are trash i'm gonna have to either quit the game stop playing lose interest slowly over time or migrate back to kvk2 something like that which people are, have already been doing and this is only going to make that allure even better people are going to want to do it even more right and that's just not a good state for the game so i think it's actually better and i'm not being funny or dramatic or anything i think it's actually better to just delete this kvk and just think of a different way to engage the player base think of a new kvk format you know i know that people have been talking about naval battles right because they did mention that a while ago that they were playing around with that idea i think that's cool that could be cool um but i'm just not interested in seeing anything um relative to march of the ages anymore uh, again anybody that i've talked to about this kvk thinks that it's just the worst thing like it's just the worst kvk that's ever come and and it for good reason like again if it's not fun people aren't gonna play it lilith if you're listening um i hope that you're not too mad at me for you know being angry again in a video <laughs> um but seriously this was just i mean i feel like they didn't test it right I feel like no testing went into this KVK because, you know, a little one test KVK would, uh, you know, would show them that this is just not a good KVK, like, cause they themselves would be bored. And this kind of makes me feel like the developers don't play the game because there's no way that someone who knows the fun, like if you know, what's fun about rise of kingdoms, right? You wouldn't then uh, extrapolate that to a kvk that is centered around marching 40 minutes and waiting for 12 hours for anything to happen right like like you, you you can't you can't know the fun parts about rise of kingdoms and then build a kvk around the opposite like the direct opposite of that right the fun parts are teleporting onto the battlefield and joining rallies and joining garrisons and these big epic you know awesome fights and then you know if you if you know that about the game and you've experienced that firsthand how could you turn around and be like okay what is a way that we can postpone fighting for long periods of time and then when the fighting starts make it really hard to even get involved in that fighting um and then we'll just put everything behind two hour timers and everyone will be at a disadvantage without it so they'll have to do it like you know it's just it's just i, I don't know i'm it's scary because i feel like there's no one if you asked anyone what would they if if you said what would you improve about kvk and, and no one was gonna say oh i want there to be just no fighting i yeah i want my kingdom versus kingdom to have literally no fighting in it like no no one's gonna say that right so it makes me worried that they didn't test this and that the developers themselves don't really play the game because they don't you know I, it just makes me feel like they don't know what's fun about rise of kingdoms right and that's that's concerning for me and for the future of the game anyway guys if you if you like march of the ages i want you to comment down below and tell me what you like about it uh and tell me why you think it's good tell me what i missed about march of the ages that makes it a good kvk because i seriously i seriously don't i don't know what that could be so I'm genuinely asking because I really have no idea. Um, comment it down below. If you found this video entertaining or funny or whatever, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. It's the fastest and most free way to support the channel. It does help a lot. It gets the video out into the YouTube algorithm, so it shows it to other Rise of Kingdoms players. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. Click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Also, there's a link down below to download Rise of Kingdoms to your PC. Blue Stacks 5 is my favorite way to play. It does support the channel and if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later uh, also social media links they're down below follow me everywhere and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i'll talk to you guys again soon little voice crack there <laughs> peace